Hello and welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Please remember to subscribe to the channel. T today, we are solving factorization of polynomial. I'm so sure you must have been so used to factorization of quadratic. Now, how do we factorize this polynomial? You can see x to the power of 3 plus 5x to the power of 2 plus 8x plus 4. How do we factorize it? Very simple. Let's sum it together. The first thing you are so particular about is the last number, 4. You write it somewhere, 4. Why do we need 4? Now, let's, what are the factors that can go in 4? What are the numbers that can go in 4? We have 1. 1 can go in 4. We have 2. We also have 4. 4 can go in 4. The next thing you are also going to do is, you just put plus or minus in front, plus or minus, plus or minus, plus one can go, minus one can go, and so on. Now, let's now take them one by one. How do you factorize this? And your answer must be equal to zero. How do you factorize it? Let's start using them one by one. The first one is plus one. You are going to substitute your x, your one in all this, your x. Let's check whether it's going to be equal to zero. If it's not equal to zero, you use minus 1, you substitute it here. If it's not equal to 0, you use plus 2, you put it here. If it's not good, and so on. Now, let's now solve this. Let's use your plus 1 first. That is 1, plus 1 is the same thing as 1 raised to the power of 3, plus 5, into brackets, 1 raised to the power of 2, plus 8, into brackets, 1 raised to the power of 1, plus 4. Let's check. This is 1, 1 plus 5, plus 8, plus 4 which is going to be 18 it's not equal to zero so plus one is out of it let's use minus one let's put our minus one here minus one raised to the power of three plus five into bracket minus one raised to the power of two plus eight into bracket minus one plus four minus one is power of three is minus one minus one is power of two that's one times five plus five Minus eight times minus one times eight minus eight plus four. Let's check whether it's going to be equal to zero. Minus one plus five that's four. Four minus eight that is minus four. Minus four plus four equal to zero. It means we are going to make use of minus one. How are we now going to make use of minus one? That is, we said x equal to minus one because our x that we used it, we said it's equal to minus one. You have gotten your first equation that is. Now bring it, this is your minus 1, bring it here. So it's going to be x plus 1 equal to 0. You have to return it here. So this one of it, one of our answers under this. We are going to get 3. 3. How is that? You are putting 1. So after getting 1, the next thing I'm going to do, this one will lead to your polynomial. Hope you still remember your polynomial. Let's solve it. We have x plus 1. These are x plus 1, write it out. Let's now use to divide this. x to the power 3 plus 5x squared plus 8x plus 4. By the time you get the first one, you are going to now use it to divide your answer. That's the essence of this. Let's now use it to divide. We have x here, and we have x to the power of 3. How many x? We are going to use the x to be divided. How many x we see in this? That's going to be x squared. x to the power of 2. Now, we have x power 2. Anything you get here, you must always use this to multiply the two things you have here. Don't forget the rule. Use your x first to divide this. Anything you get here, you write it up. And anything you put up here, you are going to use it to multiply the two numbers you have here. x squared times 6, that's x cubed plus 1 times x squared, 1x squared. Don't forget, use your x to divide this. You answer, write it up. Anything you get up here, use it to multiply the two. So we always use minus here. x cubed minus x cubed. Down is cancelled. 5x squared minus 1x squared. That's 4x squared. We are going to be eliminating them one by one. Bring the next one down. Plus 8x. You bring them one by one down. So the next thing you're also going to do, you also use your x to divide this. Let's see. So how many x we cancel in this x squared, so it means just one x. That's we have plus four x 
just reduce the power by one. And I told you anything you get here, you use to multiply the two numbers you have here. That is, use of x to divide this one first, write your answer up. Anything now write up here, use to multiply the two that we have here. So 4x times x, that's 4x squared plus 4 times 1, 4x, 4x times 1. So like I told you, use minus minus. This one will cancel, 4x squared minus 4x squared cancelled. 8x minus 4x, that's 4x. Like I told you, you bring the next one down, plus 4. Okay, getting it. So, after this, let's use your 4 to divide your 4 here. To divide your x to divide your 4x here. So, it means plus 4. So, that is how many x? Use your x to cancel this. That's 4. Right, so your 4 here. Use your 4 to multiply the 2 that we have here. So, 4x times 6, that's 4x plus 4 times 1, 4. So, we also use minus, minus. So, we are true with this one. We have got 0. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, you know we have gotten x plus 1, which is the first one you have here. Then after factorizing this, you have x squared plus 4x plus 4. This is not a final answer because you can still factorize this one further. We have x squared plus 4x plus 4. Let's think of two numbers and multiply together that will give us 4. By the time you also add it together, you also give us 4. This is going to be 2 and 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 plus 2 is also 4. So just say x plus 2 because this is plus. The next one is also x plus 2. Then the final answer is now going to be, don't forget you have gotten the first one here, x plus 1. Then x plus 2 and x plus 2. That's all. That's how you're going to factorize it. Very simple. Very simple. Let's go through it again. This is our question. x to the power of 3 plus 5x squared plus 8x plus 4 equal to 0. Like I told you, the last number, which is our 4, you write it somewhere. Write out the factors of 4. For example, look at your game task. The number, the last number here is 6. You check the numbers that can go in 6. 1 can go, 2 can go, 3 can go, and 6 can go. So you now use plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, plus or minus 3, and plus or minus 6. The one that will give you 0, for example, this one gave us 0. We used plus um, x equals to minus 1. Because that was what we used here, by the time it was it gave us 0. By the time we used plus 1, it gave us 18, and it's not equal to this. So we can't use that one. The one that has equal to 0, that's what we are going to use. So we got x equal to minus 1, bring it here, which is x plus 1 equal to 0. Which is this. Now, anything you now get here, you now need to divide the question, because that's what we are after. Which is, which now is also polynomial. It's very simple. Very, very simple. Please, you can go through the video again, watch it again, and please try and solve this x to the power of 3 plus 6x squared plus 11x plus 6. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself. Please subscribe. Bye-bye.